Okay, we're just about to go in the customs house in Gulf War. I do like this pub, I know it's uh, supposed to be a traditional pub. If you go in it, it's got a little it's got sofas and little areas where you know officers' quarters and offices were and it's very, very intimate. So if you're you know taking a girly down or in a couple, just nothing nip in there because it's a lovely little pub. It's a large pub but got lots of character. So come and join me and have a little look. Hello there, can I help you at all? Yeah, just come for a drink. Okay. That's just really nice. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Hello there, my name's Alex. Welcome to the customs house. Here we have the food hill, and just to my right, we've got the bar. Here we've got Chrissy and Mark back in the bar. Yeah. A selection of real ales. Great cup. Okay, here on the right we have each room. <laughs> each room in the building was used as offices. So each room has a certain name and when it was in use. The building's 200 years old, it's thought to be one of the first in the Navy to be specially designed as an office building instead of using the old Navy ships as offices and barracks. This room, AEDU, was used from 1967 until the building was bought in 2001 in September. As you can see, each room has a different theme, which this room is more for relaxation, designed to be more cosy for the customer, with fireplaces and sofas. Okay, here we have the wardrobe, which is used for special occasions. And there's also the names of all the captains of HMS Vernon, which is what this building used to be called as part of the HMS Vernon Naval Base. Upstairs in the restaurant, in each of the little rooms, we do table service, waitress service, that offer you food and drink on the table so you don't have to get out of the seat. Thank you.